Hello students, welcome to our class of uh, software management. In today's class we are going to discuss about control flow graph or CFG. Now using any control flow graph or CFG, we can make the path of any given block of code or a function. Now let's take an example. Now maybe this is our <coughs> given code. Uh, whatever my code is, we will simply give some tag number with each line. Like uh, in this line, we are declaring x, y, and power as an integer variable. We label it as one. The second line is two. Then input x comma y is three. Now this if statement is labeled as four. Then if this if statement becomes true, then it will uh, do the operation power equals to power minus y. This is our level number five. And if this statement becomes false, then we will come to this statement that is power equals to y. So this is our statement number six. There is actually no need to label your if statement. You can start labeling uh, the statements within your if block, and it may be uh, this if is true or maybe false. Will uh, come to the statement uh, that is j equals to one. This is labeled as seven. Then we are starting one uh, while loop while power not equals to zero. This is labeled as eight. Then if the statement is true, then j equals to j into x. This is nine. Then power equals to power minus one, that is ten. Now again, this will come back to eight, and if it is true, then it will do the iteration. And once this uh, line number eight becomes false, that means this while loop becomes false, it will come to this if statement that is labeled as eleven. And if this if is true, then uh, we will do z equals to one by z, that is level number twelve. Then output z that is 13, and at the end we have line number, uh, level number uh, 14. So our control flow graph will be like this: 1, 2, 3, and 4 will be simply sequential execution. There is no branching or any uh, path, uh, only sequential path. There is no branch path. That is 1, 2, and 3, and 4. Now, uh, this if can be true or false. Now, if it becomes true, then this 4 will come to 5. And if it becomes 6, then it is coming to 6. Uh, it becomes false, then it is coming to 6. So, from uh, 4 to 6. And uh, it may be true or false. This uh, statement number 7 will get executed. So, 5 to 6, we have one line. From 7, we are coming to this while loop. So from 7, we make this path to 8. Now from 8, uh, it may be true or false. Let's see if it's true. Then we are coming to statement number 9 and then 10, sequential execution. And once 10 is over, it will again come back to statement number 8. And it will start this iteration. that It is making this loop over here. And if this while loop becomes false, then from 8, we are coming to statement number 11. That is this if statement. Now, if this if becomes true, then we will come to 12, and if this uh, if becomes false, then we, uh, then we will come to statement number 13. So, from 11, we have two parts, one is towards uh, 12, another one is towards 13, and at the end, uh, we have this end statement, that is uh, level number 14, so we are Okay, this is how we draw any control program. I think this concept is clear to you guys now. Thank you.